Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking with Cass. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a unique snack out of plantains. It's called Unnakaya or stuffed plantains. This is a Malabar specialty snack. So Malabar is a district in Kerala and it's also my family favorite snack. So here are the plantains that I got from the grocery store. Luckily, these are available at the Canadian gro grocery store that I shop. Um, so whenever I find plantains, I just grab a few of them. So besides unnekaya, uh, different kinds of snacks can be made out of plantains. Um, this is one of my favorites. So guys, let's get started and let's make unnekaya or stuffed plantains. Here are the plantains that I'll be using. As you can see, these plantains are not too ripe nor raw. So this is the perfect uh, consistency. So if it is too ripe, we won't be able to make the dough out of the plantains. So first what we have to do is first we need to steam cook the plantains. So I'm going to steam cook in the instant pot. Into the stainless steel pot, I've placed the trivet. So this one came along with the instant pot. So going to add one cup water. So let's place the plantains on the trivet. If you don't have an instant pot, you can steam cook the plantains in a steam cooker or in a steamer. Um, so I'm going to close the pot with the lid. Going to select the steam cook setting on the instant pot like that and uh, set the time to two minutes um, pressure should be high and click start so let it steam cook for two minutes while the plantain is getting steam cooked let's make the stuffing uh, so we are going to make a sweet stuffing with coconut and eggs uh, so I have placed a pan over medium heat so after the pan turns hot let's add ghee adding one tablespoon ghee to the ghee, let's add one cup grated coconut. So this is frozen coconut. I thawed it well. So let's stir fry till the coconut turns light golden. And then we'll be adding all the other ingredients. Saute the grated coconut in ghee and let the moisture dry off. So two minutes steam cooking has completed. So let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and after that we can do a quick pressure release we're going to add two tablespoon sugar so let's sweeten up the coconut with sugar so continue to stir fry the grated coconut it's starting to turn light golden in color for making the stuffing, I have added a freshly grated coconut that was frozen. So it's available at the Indian store. If you don't have that, you can add the shredded sweetened coconut. So the coconut has started to turn golden in color. So next, let's add all the other ingredients. So I'm going to crack an egg into a bowl and beat it using a fork. So beat the egg well using a fork or a whisk. So let's add the egg and, and let's scramble the egg. So next to this, let's add two tablespoon cashew nuts, one tablespoon raisins. Give everything a good mix going to add ground cardamom so i have ground cardamom here like quarter teaspoon if you don't have ground cardamom you can crush the whole cardamom like two whole cardamoms and add that so the ground cardamom will give a really nice aroma to the stuffing as soon as you add the cardamom you can smell that nice um, aroma it's so amazing right now so give everything a good mix so here's our simple sweet filling or stuffing with um, grated coconut and egg. It smells really aromatic. So keep this aside and let this cool down. 
The pressure has released naturally for a five minutes. So let's do a quick pressure release and let all the pressure release completely. So let's open the lid. So here's our steamed plantains. Uh, so this is very hot. So wear a mitten and take the trivet out of the, the stainless steel pot. Here are the steamed plantains. So it has steamed really well. So in the instant pot, uh, we only have to steam cook this for two minutes. Perfect. So let this cool down. So next I'm going to peel off the skin. And uh, so next step is to make a dough out of this steam cooked plantain. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to peel off the skin. So this is the perfect consistency. Uh, this plantain was not too ripe. If it was too ripe, you know, it would turn really mushy and the dough will be too soft. So this is perfect. So place this in a bowl. So let this cool down. It's still hot. Um, so next we have to make a dough out of this. So before that, after this is cooled down, we need to remove the black seeds from the center of the plantain. And then we need to make this into a, a smooth and soft dough. So let this cool down. Here is the sweet filling we made out of grated coconut and egg. I've added cashew nuts and raisins, ground cardamom. So this smells really aromatic and it tastes delicious by itself. So next we are going to stuff this filling into the plantain dough and roll it and deep fry the stuffed plantain. So that's how we are going to make the snack. Um, so this filling you can enjoy as it is. It's so delicious. The steamed plantain has slightly cooled down. So let's remove the seed. So half this, like so, and then half it again. So here is the seed. So using a knife, just scrape the seeds. It's like a string of seeds, so you can easily remove that, like so. I have removed all the seeds. So the steamed plantain, you know, you can drizzle some ghee over it and enjoy it. All right, so next let's make a dough out of this. So what we are gonna do is using your clean hand, mash it well. So you don't need a masher for this. It's cooked really well. So mash it without any lumps. Let's make into a smooth dough. This is coming along good. So let's say if you have used a little ripe plantain, so when we make the dough, it will be very mushy. So what you can do is add a couple of tablespoons of rice flour, and then it will turn firm. So this plantain that I've used, it's pretty good. It was not too ripe. So as you can see, the dough is soft, smooth, and also it's not mushy, it's, it's firm, right? So this is the perfect consistency we need. So all we need to ensure is there are no lumps. So I'm breaking all the lumps. If you want to use a potato masher, you can use that or a wooden spoon to mash up all the thick lumps. Here is the plantain dough. So it has turned soft and smooth. If there are tiny lumps, don't worry about it. So this can be made ahead of time. So we can wrap this in a clean wrap and keep it in the refrigerator for a few days. So even the filling you can make this ahead of time so you know you can make this over the weekend and then if whenever you want to make you nakayas over the week uh, you, you just have to take these out of the refrigerator and um, you know stuff the filling into the dough and then deep fry it all right so guys let's get started and let's um, stuff this filling into the plantain dough so here i have the plantain dough so i'm going to make a medium sized ball out of it and then spread it between the palm of my hand so just use your finger and spread it so make it a round shape so next we are going to place our filling grated coconut egg filling at the center of the round dough and then fold this so gently fold this. So seal the gaps. So any gaps that's there, seal it. So this is a very soft dough. So we can make into a 
like an elongated oval shape. So the shape for Unnekaya, it's not a round shape. It's more like a, a shape like this, elongated oval shape. Perfect. So I'm sealing all the gaps with the dough. So this is the perfectly stuffed plantain dough. So I have made a few here. So, uh, so let me go ahead and um, stuff the filling to the remaining dough. So I only have a few more to go. It's, it's really fun doing this. Here are the stuffed plantain dough. So with two plantains, I was able to make uh, seven stuffed plantains. I do have some filling left. So this is really delicious by itself. So I'm gonna enjoy as it is. Or you can, after we deep fry these, we can um, you know, top the uh, fried unakayas with this uh, filling. So next, let's deep fry these. So these can be made ahead of time. Um, you can uh, stuff the filling into the plantain dough and this can be kept in the refrigerator for a few days. Let's start frying the unnakayas or stuffed plantains. So I've placed a pan over medium high heat. So let this turn hot. So here I have taken a pump pan. So for a pump pan, as you can see, it has a dip at the center. So this is great for deep frying. So adding oil. So I'm adding coconut oil. You can add any kind of oil that you have. So my coconut oil is uh, thickened. So let this melt. To the oil, you can even add one tablespoon ghee. So that will make the unakayas really um, flavorful, aromatic, and delicious. So this is quite optional. If you don't want to add ghee, you can skip it. So let the coconut oil melt. So the oil has turned hot. So let's add the stuffed plantain dough. So do not crowd them. I'm adding like let's deep fry these till they turn golden brown in color so please ensure the heat is not too high otherwise you know it will brown really fast so keep it at medium heat so using a slotted spoon just flip this over so all the sides will turn golden brown So these have turned golden brown, so that's good. Now let's take these out of the oil and place it on a plate lined with paper towel so it will absorb any excess oil. Here are the unnakayas or stuffed plantains. So this is a Malabar specialty snack. So even the stuffing that's made of uh, grated coconut and uh, scrambled eggs tastes delicious. So do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.